Hey, what's going on guys? How is everybody doing? In today's video, we'll be going over several team comps for Zhao. Zhao is a selfish carry, which means that he's a hero that wants to spend as much time as possible on the field. So, we want to prioritize maximizing Zhao's uptime on the field while doing as much damage as possible. We'll focus on heroes who can either buff Zhao, deal damage while they're off the field, or support him in other ways. We'll be taking a look at what elemental reactions we'll want to make a priority when choosing teammates, the elemental resonances we can take advantage of, and what heroes can help Xiao perform to the best of his abilities. We'll be discussing team comps from the best of the best to those easily accessible to free-to-play players. And just a reminder that there will be a poll in the description below for you guys to vote on which team comp from today's video you'd like to see a more in-depth breakdown on, covering full character builds and gameplay. Now, with that out of the way, let's jump right into the video. Zhao being an Anemo hero means that the only reaction he can trigger himself is Swirl. Now, that being the case, this is not actually a reaction that we intentionally want to build for. If we get the occasional Swirl, of course, we will take that, but we're not going out of our way to find better ways to apply elements for this purpose. While Zhao may not gain a lot from reactions, where we really want to focus our attention is on resonances, as we do have a lot of powerful options here, most obvious being Anemo Resonance. Overall, Impetuous Winds may not be the most powerful resonance we discuss, but it is one that we will see most often, as Zhao is a hero that wants to use his burst as long as he's on the field, which is basically going to be all the time. So, we'll want to prioritize a second Anemo hero as a battery, this being a hero who generates energy and funnels it into our carry by switching back to them in order to absorb the full energy count, rather than the discounted amount they receive while being inactive. Shattering Ice is also an interesting option. While Zhao may not have access to a lot of the more powerful reactions, that's actually a benefit when looking at Shattering Ice. Because his swirls won't always remove the cryo status given how the gauge removal works with swirl, for more information on this, check out my elemental gauge video. We can pretty safely say that we can take full advantage of this resonance. Zhao can also actually spread the cryo application, making the job easier for his cryo teammates. Our most powerful options though are easily Pyro Resonance and Geo Resonance. Both these options are fairly self-explanatory as they'll simply help us increase our damage output without needing to spend any resources on heroes as long as you have already have the heroes built. Fervent Flames will overall increase our damage more than Enduring Rock, though I actually prefer the Geo Resonance more for Zhao specifically due to the heroes we currently have available which we'll discuss when we get to the corresponding teams. Our first team up to bat is a triple Anemo hero team, and I'm sure you may be thinking, isn't that a bit overkill? Perhaps, but as it stands, the core of this team is Zhao and Jean, and both of these heroes have expensive burst costs at 70 and 80 respectively, meaning that if we don't want to waste stats towards energy recharge, we need to compensate elsewhere. Having a third Anemo particle generator will do that job nicely. Sucrose actually being one of the best, especially with her first constellation, being able to fire off three skills in rapid succession. Now, I'm sure some of you are asking yourselves, well, why Sucrose over Venti? While it's true that Venti does do more damage than Sucrose and is better at rounding up mobs into one location, Venti's synergy with Zhao is not the best. Zhao actually struggles to hit enemies inside Venti's vortex, only being able to hit the lowest enemies. The middle and highest enemies his plunge attacks can't actually reach. So while we could wait until Venti's burst is over and the enemies have fallen to the ground, if they're still alive, then attack with Zhao, we're losing out on a lot of potential DPS. So Sucrose fills that hole nicely, playing the crowd control card while keeping our enemies on the ground. We'll be seeing the pairing of Zhao and Jean a couple times in this video. It's a natural pair really, they help fuel each other's burst, fill the Anemo resonance, and Jean can dish out a lot of damage on her own. She can also help reposition enemies so that Zhao's dash can more consistently hit multiple targets. For the last slot, Zhongli or Bennett will be our damage booster for Zhao. With Zhongli's new buff, his shield will provide a 20% shred to both our enemy's physical resistance and elemental resistance while also helping to protect Zhao's HP since he'll need all he can get with his burst constantly draining it. Zhongli also provides a big punch of damage with his burst and it comes with a cheap cost too. Now, everyone knows by now that Bennett is an honorary 5 star in terms of power level. That being said, I do actually prefer Zhongli to Bennett with Zhao. 
The reason being that Zhao is a very mobile hero. Between his dashes and his plunges being all around the battlefield, he'll be covering a lot of ground, and since Bennett's burst needs you to stay within a small radius, it can actually be difficult to manage your movement at times to take full effect of Bennett's damage buff. Plus, we do already have a healer in Jean, and Zhongli's shield will stay as mobile as Zhao. This next team is almost identical with the last, with the exception of Sucrose now becoming Albedo, filling out the Geo Resonance. Albedo is really the glue that can hold the Geo Resonance together. While we won't be triggering Crystallize on this team to be able to passively create shields, with Zhongli's new buffs, his shield will be even more powerful, allowing us to keep the Geo Res up more than we would be able to in the past. Albedo also excels at off field damage, opening the door for us to stay with Zhao for longer periods of time, while also not sacrificing energy regen, as Albedo's skill will be able to generate energy for Zhao upon hits, albeit Geo Energy. The downside to this team is that it's expensive. Four 5-star units is not going to be an easy feat for a lot of players. The only substitution that we can really make on this team without drastically changing how well it works is switching Jean to your healer of choice, and since she's the only hero on this team that hasn't had a dedicated banner, I'm guessing she will be the hero that has been unobtained the most. That being said, the core of Zhongli and Albedo is really a must for this specific comp. Without them, we lose two vital aspects to this team, Zhongli's shield and Albedo's constant off-field damage and energy regen. Now, let's take a look in a completely different direction and look at a Freeze team. I found this team actually very powerful and allows you to focus slightly less on Zhao's crit rate and go harder into crit damage because of the Cryo Resonance. The main pairing here is Zhao with Ganyu. While Kaya does work and does a lot of the same thing Ganyu does when it comes to Cryo application, Ganyu is just better at what she does. Her skill acts as a form of crowd control, grouping up enemies, allowing for Zhao to either plunge into the group easier or just dash right through. She can also apply Cryo in a much larger field than Kaya, which can be of importance because Zhao is able to swirl that Cryo onto nearby enemies, making it easier to sustain the spread. She can also play DPS herself, so should you be faced with some aerial enemies like Rune Hunters or Eye of the Storms, or just should your Zhao fall in battle, she can tag in and take care of your enemies with ease. Xing Cho is easily the best Hydra support we have access to. While not having perfect synergy with Zhao and his plunges or dashes, he does the job and a lot of damage. Our last slot goes to our healer, and that's Chi Chi in this comp. While normally I do prefer Diona in my comps, Chi Chi takes the cake here. Diona can suffer from the same problem Bennett did in our first comp, and that's Zhao's mobility. Since Chi Chi can tag enemies and then Zhao can heal himself through those talismans, or she can passively heal him with her skill, she really outperforms here. That said, Diona is the best alternative in the slot if you don't have a Chi Chi, as again, this makes our team consist of three five star heroes. If you do swap the healer role for another cryo hero, just make sure to maintain that you have at least one healer on the team. So you could have to swap Sing Cho for Barbara or move Ganyu into a Diona. This next team takes off-field damage to the extreme with an offensive support core of Fischl and Albedo. While Albedo on the team doesn't benefit us in terms of the resonance like we had earlier, he's simply the best option for off-field damage. Our other option is Fischl, or should I say Oz, at this point she really should probably rebrand herself. While this team doesn't strictly increase the damage Zhao does while he's on field, it does allow him to be on field longer, leading him to deal more damage by simply attacking more. A comp like this will also passively help increase Zhao's energy regen, since he'll be on the field a majority of the time, we don't have to worry about managing our switch to collect the energy from our supports, making this playstyle of team much more passive. Fischl does have some added synergy with Zhao through her Ascension 4 passive, dealing extra damage whenever Zhao swirls the Electro debuff, which can add up to quite a bit of extra damage when enemies are grouped up during Zhao's award-winning pogo stick routine. Ultimately, on this team though, you can choose your favorite off-field DPS support as there's really no elemental synergies here. I've included a couple of my favorites as alternatives. Next up, we have the team built around Pyro Resonance. I mentioned in the beginning of this video that the Pyro Resonance does provide a bigger damage boost than the Geo Resonance. However, the reason I'm not thrilled with this team as much as its Geo counterpart is that the quality and synergy of the Pyro heroes we have access to just don't match up to those of the Geo team. That being said, I'd be remiss if I didn't show this team off because it is powerful in its own right and is much more accessible than the Geo Resonance team. 
Bennett is worth three team spots by himself with the damage boost he provides. Zhongling is simply the best alternative to Jin Yen. She provides off-field damage with her skill and burst, and Sucrose plays the role of battery as she has up until this point. But she can also provide some extra damage by passing off Elemental Mastery to Zhao to increase the damage of the swirls given all the pyro that Zhongling will be able to spread. This is our most budget build so far, utilizing all 4-star heroes, and Zhao of course. That can be acquired through free-to-play means, as long as you were able to get Sucrose through wishes you acquired in-game. But our last team comp is strictly free-to-play heroes, and we have Barbara, Fischl, and the Anemo main character as our base. The Anemo MC is doing their best Sucrose impression as our Anemo battery. Unfortunately, their burst does quite the opposite of what we want, which is to push the enemies away, so not exactly optimal, but this is what we have as long as we're creating a base team with strictly free-to-play options that we can look to upgrade later with the units we acquire as we progress through the game. Fischl was only a free character for a short while, but if you weren't playing during your event, Kaya would work as a replacement as our main damage dealer while off the field. And of course, we need a healer, and as far as healers go, we really only have one, which is Barbara, who actually has pretty good synergy with Kaya on this team, being able to freeze shielded enemies, allowing Zhao to deal them damage while he doesn't have his burst up. While there may not be a lot of optimal synergies with a strictly free-to-play team and Zhao, luckily, he'll do more than enough damage by himself. Use who you have and let him go to town. Hopefully, you guys have found this team guide useful and it will help you in deciding which heroes to move forward and build. Remember to vote in the poll for which team you want to see a further breakdown for. If you liked what you saw and want to see more content from me, head over to my Twitch page, twitch.tv slash xjazzy, or you can support me right here on YouTube by clicking that red subscribe button, like the video if you liked it, and click that notification bell, that way you never miss a video. And of course, if you want to join our community over on Discord, link will be down in the description below. But guys, that's all I have for today. Hopefully you did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.